like a dream come true. Welcome back to another video. This is Taddy here with Taddy Digest, and this is an episode of HVAC Tips for Technicians. Today I'm showing you the dream tool. If you're an HVAC technician, chances are you spend a lot of time, especially during the summer, in attics. And it's the most wonderful place to be. I know that, guys. It's amazing up here. I feel amazing. Every minute that I spend up here, I get skinnier and I, I profusely sweat, which is amazing. So it's like pretty much a free sauna time. So today's video is about this little secret tool I have behind me, which it's not going to be a secret. And it's not a secret. There's lots of technicians out in the field that don't use shop vacs to suck the water out of the pan. And I'll tell you why. The pan's got water in it. And there's several reasons. That, and this is one of the most common problems you find, especially during the summer, especially when there's lack of maintenance. So let's get started with what is this. This is an oxy pump, okay? And it's got a pump built in right here in this little black cylinder. It's got a yellow hose and this connection right here, whoop, right here connects onto the drain, okay? And that right there is the drain. We got a T there. What you find in the field is you find a drain stopped up because there's lack of maintenance. Every year you should have your drain inspected and make sure that it drains properly. If not, you could have a blockage due to sediment buildup in the pan. You're not, you're not having regular coil cleaning or maintenance done and that's what happens over time. You get a drain sediment inside of your drain hose. So let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, tool here. And I'm gonna show you how to use it. This is an oxy pump. And when I have water in my pan, I have to get it out. That way my float switch will no longer be open because it opens the circuit when this little float right here, there's a float, you can actually pull this up and it will cut the power. And I usually, I wire this in series with the red wire that powers my thermostat so that my thermostat goes blank. So you go to a call and the customer says, Hey, my thermostat's blank. And if they have batteries, it's not going to go blank. And you find that the drain stopped up. Now I've got a T over here, but let's go ahead and plug this up. Now I'm going to drop the link in the description for this so you guys can get this oxy pump if it's still available. This right here is the switch to turn it on. Let's get the power. I've actually had to repair the cord because I'm a little bit hard on things, you know. All right, find the plug and plug it in. All right, let's bring it over here and make sure it'll reach. All right, you make sure that your drain is cleared, okay? You might have to get some nitrogen. You might have a little CO2 device that you can put right here and then push a button and it'll blow through the drain. And also what can cause a water in a pan is not just a drain being stopped up. What can cause water in a pan can be refrigerant being low, coals freezing up. When it thaws out, some of the water drops outside of the evaporator pan, okay, the coil pan. So, and this right here is a seamless pan. So, it's about two and a half inches tall, and it was filled up earlier. And I decided to do this video because I'm like, well, you know what? There's not a lot of videos online with the oxy pump so so you just stick it in the pan after you connect your little drain connection and you can see on the very bottom of this right here there's some holes okay and I've got a little dirt and stuff in there it, it happens over time all right you turn this on all right look at that turn that on and it sucks the water out and that's it isn't that awesome now You'd have to use a shop vac or some other tool if you didn't have an oxy pump. And that's why the oxy pump is so handy because it's small. I don't have to take a shop vac and fill it up and then go down the attic staircase or the attic axe. That right there can be laborsome. It can take a lot of time. And don't forget, it's not nice and cold up here during the summer. It's nice and hot. And some attics don't have a lot of ventilation. So get an oxy pump save yourself some time some headache and it's a great tool to use and i've had this tool for three four five maybe longer i've had it for many years i think it was around the hundred dollar range maybe more now just because of materials and there may not be a company that makes it but i'm sure there's something like it out there. a few more things you need to know about water in the pan there are a few more possible situations you could have number one is you could have an evaporator coil that's not 
level okay if it's not level and it's not the water's not moving towards the actual drain outlet then it could be pouring out of the pan inside the case also you might have a deflector a splash guard that needs to be installed in a certain configuration you need to refer to your installation instructions your customer booklet to make sure that splash guard the water catcher is installed properly and just water catcher for lack of term lack, lack of word here but make sure it's level make sure that's installed properly also it might not be that there's low refrigerant and it's freezing up it might be low airflow you could have a bad capacitor your indoor fan could not be moving the air you need you could have vents closed you could have a, a dirty filter so there's other things that can cause this you need to think more and you need to check all the different possible uh, problem areas so that you make sure that you're doing yourself a favor because you don't want to have a callback so think about this and hope this helps a couple more things it could be just that I thought of you know it could be bad bearings fan motors something to do with airflow but it also could be condensation and this is something people don't think about but if your transition connecting to your coils not insulated properly and you're in an attic and it's hot it could create condensation so you got to check that too you might need some type of sealant you might need some insulation you might need to schedule a crew to come out to fix the issue so there and this will give you an idea of what you can do to help yourself in the field to save time and to be able to do your job faster quicker that matters if you want more videos like this check out my playlist HVAC tips for technicians do not forget to like and subscribe I really appreciate all my members you are what helps my channel grow I've got a ton of content and I've got to get that here on YouTube soon and I will be doing that in the next week or two I'll be editing a bunch of content that I've got for you I want to help you with your career in the HVAC industry if you want guides that I can send you especially for geothermal for duct design and airflow basics if you want to know how to use a duculator check out my videos on HVAC uh, tips for technicians thanks and as always this is Tad reminding you I'll keep you cool if you let me